Good morning guys, it's Kevin here from Tranquility Escapes and today we are in Huntington, Long Island starting a new Palmas waterfall. So let me turn you guys around and show you what we're doing in this property here. So right here we're working in this backyard, specifically right in this area, right off this pool. They built this good night pool and they're still working on the patio. And the goal for today is actually to build a waterfall right in this piece off the edge of this patio. So when you're in the pool, it's to the focal point and you get some sound and sights of water. And the reason we're doing a pondless waterfall over a pool waterfall is because they can run it nine months out of the year over three months. So our reservoir is going to be going right here. We're using some of those larger boulders right over there. We are doing basically a five to six foot long waterfall, with two feet of elevation, but we're using some big, nice size character boulders. So we were actually here yesterday, but unfortunately our machine actually never got delivered. They got lost in transit somehow. So that's just our luck as always. But today, we finally have our machine over here. So now that we have our machine, we're gonna get starting on digging this reservoir right over here. We're using six large aqua blocks and our pump vault over here with an extension. We are using an SLD 5,000 to 9,000 to get a lot of flow out of here. But that is it for now. We are going to put you guys on the time lapse. That is it for day one. We're gonna be back here tomorrow to wrap some things up, but let me show you the progress we made today. So right here we have our pond lift reservoir. It's about a 200 gallon reservoir with five feet of stream. And the reason we have a 200 gallon reservoir is because we're actually gonna be pumping this pondless waterfall with a SLD 5,000 to 9,000, which we're gonna have a lot of water going over this first cascade, which is only like two feet wide with 9,000 gallons going over it. And then right over there, we have one of our spillway diffusers with a little sheet falls and kick a rock right over there and right over there we have another diffuser starting another waterfall so we're gonna have two waterfalls cascading into a thick pooling area we're trying to get some nice rumbling sounds from this one and then have a nice sheet falls because this is going to be the main viewing area we we're talking to the masons today so the whole plan is they wrapped up this patio today but they're gonna be extending it another 26 feet and they're gonna be building a cabana over there. That cabana is gonna be basically the outdoor living spot, but she already has an outdoor kitchen over here and patio and sectional furniture. But that cabana is gonna be overlooking this pondless waterfall. Today she actually decided to add some additional illumination to this. So at nighttime, when they're sitting out there, they're gonna have this whole thing illuminated. That pooling area is gonna be illuminated as well as the cascades. So at nighttime, they can enjoy this. But that is it for today. Unfortunately, we forgot our GoPro. So our time lapse was made on our cell phone. So it's definitely not the best. Tomorrow, I promise you guys, we're gonna bring back that GoPro so you guys can get better time-lapse footage but this thing should be running by tomorrow so stay tuned good morning guys we are here on day number two in this house in Huntington Long Island and we're about to wrap up this pondless waterfall so right over here I'm starting our plumbing as you can see so right over here I'm starting my plumbing as you can see we have our three inch line buried right over here 
and that connects to this spillway diffuser as well as that one as you can see the pipes leading to it already we have our SLD 5 to 9,000 down there with our 2 inch check valve and then all we have to do today is connect that plumbing edge this grade this out and then get some of these accent boulders and retaining boulders because this wall right over here is actually going to be continued all the way to this waterfall and then around this big rock over here and this grass area is going to stay at this grade and ramp up to this area over here because she's going to be doing an amazing raised garden bed all over this area but once we have this backfilled and the whole stream graveled we're ready to rinse this down and turn it on also we have our gopro today so thankfully you guys should have better time lapse footage but you guys are going to go back on the time lapse because we got to wrap this up today and it's a hot one so stay tuned All right, guys, we're rinsing down the patio so you know what that means. We're finally complete with this palmless waterfall. And man, was it a hot one today. It's gotta be like 106 degrees outside it. Almost having many heat strokes out here. But we pulled through, me and Rob finally did it. As you can see over here, this is what we've been doing all day. Hosing our heads off with the hose water. But we finally completed this six foot palmless waterfall with some big boulders. We used more than double what we normally would use on just a regular four or five foot pondless waterfall is using hand sized boulders. All these were set with machines and we use a bigger pump, a SLD 5 to 9,000. Let me tell you, I think it came out amazing. So we're back here, back in Huntington, Long Island, a few months after we've completed this project. We're back here to winterize it just like the last video. But this waterfall, now that it's been tied into the landscape, really transform this backyard so as you can see their pool has water they're getting ready to build a cabana right over there they have their day beds they have their lounge chairs all set up here and when we came in this was just the hillside with nothing but then we added this waterfall and the whole point with this waterfall was to keep it low profile there's only two feet of elevation top to bottom but we wanted a large pooling area, something where we, she can put her aquatic plants in, but also just keep the whole hillside in a low profile. This hillside is covered in boulders and plantings. The boulder work was actually done by the masons who are doing this cabana and pool area. So they did a phenomenal job of tying into what they had to work with. As you can tell, we stopped right around here, but the whole look is seamless and it carries out with the whole style of this house and this other hillside right down there. But to put the cherry on top. I usually don't like Japanese maples on top of Palmas waterfalls because every single person does it. But when you get the right Japanese maple to do it with, it 100% works. She's been playing with her aquatic plants. She has papyrus planted in this waterfall, as you can tell. And the homeowner did the whole landscaping by herself. And she did a phenomenal job. She definitely has an eye for the greenery. And she tied in this whole area, even doing the flocks down here. This will carpet itself over within a year or two and make this whole transition seamless. Anyways, that's enough talking for this job right now. You guys enjoy these final shots, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.